Facebook and Instagram and wherever you might be watching this. I wanted to say thank you if you're here for the first time. Definitely, I'm so thankful you're stopping by and I hope that you like this content and I would really love it if you subscribed. Um, but if you've been here before, thanks so much for coming back and I, again, hope you're getting some information from this content. I really try to give you guys what you need and um, things to make your trip a little bit better if you're visiting um, Panama City Beach or Panama City, Florida. So, I did some work for you guys. Um, everybody always asks, like, what is the best places to stay here in Panama City? Um, and there's a lot. We have condos, we have houses, we have hotels. There's tons of different avenues that you can go depending on what you're looking for. So I went ahead and did some, you know, posts on Facebook and on Instagram and different places to get everybody's information and what they think is the top places to stay in Panama City Beach. And I have the list compiled for you guys, so you guys don't have to do it. Anyway, I really, really hope this gives you some valuable information and let's just jump right on in. So this is, we're going to start from 10, from the got the least amount of votes to the most amount of votes. Now, all of these are the top places. I left out um, anything that didn't get more than one vote or like one person saying that they liked it. So all of these um, that I'm saying are in the top have multiple people that have commented that like these locations. All right. So number 10 is the Dunes of Panama. Um, I'm going to throw in some pictures up here so that you can kind of see what you're looking for. But the Dunes of Panama was one of the locations and that's number 10. Number nine is the Long Beach Resort. Um, and all of these, uh, I pretty much think are beachfront. So yeah. Uh, number eight is the Grand Panama. I have stayed at the Grand Panama multiple times. It is beautiful. The location is great. Uh, the parking kind of sucks a little bit because it's in a parking garage, but it's really, really hard to maneuver around in there. And I will tell you, I had a little bit of trouble getting a luggage cart and things like that. So if you have a cart of your own that you can bring, that's really helpful, like one of those foldable carts or something. And I know there's also um, a company in Panama City that rents beach carts um, uh, by the day, by the week, whatever. So that may even be an option because they deliver. So they can deliver you your cart and you can use it for you know however long you're here. Um, but that's the Grand Panama, and the next one is Regency Towers. I actually got a pretty good bit of people that um, really liked the Regency Towers. It is one of the high rises, it's a taller building, but um, it's, it's got a lot of good feedback. Edgewater is number six, of course. Uh, Edgewater is one of the biggest resorts we have in Panama City, and it has everything pretty much um it's been around for a while so i don't know how updated some of the units are and things like that but it is a good location it's on the beach there's a lot to do so i too would say that edgewater would come in number six number five was top of the gulf i've actually never stayed at top of the gulf i've um looked at it before and contemplated staying there but i end up always going with somewhere else but now that i know this i would probably just stay there because they were, it got a lot of good feedback a lot of people liked that it wasn't as big as some of the other places but it still had like all the amenities and things that they needed number four the majestic towers never stayed there looks gorgeous it is big um probably can accommodate anything that you're looking for. So the Majestic Towers uh, definitely came in number four. Number three is the Tidewater Beach Resort. Um, it's a beautiful looking location. I've never been there as well, um, but it looks like it's a good place on the beach that may be a little quieter and maybe not as crowded. So Treasure Island came in number two. I've never, ever, ever stayed nor didn't really know much about Treasure Island. And when I looked at it, it does look like a great resort. It got a lot of good feedback. A lot of people have enjoyed staying there for years and always say that that's where they go back to. So that's why it got number two. And then number one is Calypso. <laughs> that one's um, a little more high end. It's a little newer. It's got some co fun colors, things like that. There's a ton of stuff to do. And if you're staying at the Calypso, um, it's a very, very big resort. So Calypso came in number one, but I do have some honorable mentions I want to talk about because a lot of people did still say things like the Ramada Inn Beachfront, the Hampton Inn on the beach, which I've stayed there and it is very nice. It's a hotel, so you're not having to pay 
a lot of the cleaning fees and things like that that you have in a condo, but you have a lot of the amenities, so um, that's a good option. Holiday Inn on the Beach always comes in as a strong contender. Um, Casa Loma, uh, it's more of an um, older place to stay, but I think it's one of your mom and pop type places, and a lot of people gave me a lot of good feedback on Casa Loma. Um, Ramsgate Harbor, I'd never heard of, and it is it is off the beaten path, but surprisingly, I got a couple of people that really were in love with that place as well. And then there was one little tiny place, or one place kind of alpha on its own called Wait and See. And it's a condo, like a townhouse, townhouse type setup, but it does have a private pool. So, uh, Wait and See, and I think you can book directly through them and you just can like, search up wait and see and that should pop up and you can get some information and contact the owner that way. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot of people had strong opinions on the shores of Panama, but there were very mixed reviews. Uh, there were some really good ones. Uh, some people that were like, this is my place. This is where we stay all the time. And then there are some really bad ones of don't ever stay there. And I would never stay there again. I think that what I've gotten from the information and the feedback that I've gotten from you guys is the ones that really loved Shores of Panama booked directly through an owner, not through a management company. So that's a tip that I can give you if you're gonna stay at the Shores of Panama. It is big, it has a lot of stuff. There's definitely amenities there. Um, and so, like I said, if you wanna book Shores of Panama, I would say if you can, book privately. And then that's basically my list that I've come up with. But again, I'm gonna plug last minute PCB. We're still looking for vendors. If you own a business, you provide a service and you want to list on my site, you can get 30 days free uh, with, you know, anytime you sign up, you can try it, for, try it for free. And if you don't like it, there's no obligation. You can go at any time. But as consumers, once you guys, once I get this site um, fully loaded with vendors, you will be able to find Anything from cleaners to surf lessons to, I don't know, you want a mermaid at a birthday party, whatever, you'll be able to find it on my site. Also the beach buggy rentals, things like that. Um, anybody's welcome to put their information and their business on my site. And I just, it just kind of connects you guys with people that provide the services. So anyway, hopefully um, that'll be up and running as far as like having some people on the site fairly soon. But until then, I'm gonna keep pro promoting it. I'm gonna keep putting it out there because I do think it is a need for Panama City Beach. We're also gonna be doing a launch party for the website coming up soon. Uh, I don't have a specific date yet, but when I do, I'll let you guys know because I'm gonna film it and I'll take you guys along because um, it should be fun. Anyway, I hope y'all had a great week. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my videos. And like, comment, subscribe if you have any questions, if you have anything that you want me to research and give you all the information on, let me know in the comments because that's what I'm here for. I'm here for you guys to help you guys get the information you need when you're visiting Panama City Beach. So feel free to ask me any questions or say, hey, how about this? Can you do this as a topic on your show or on your videos? And if it's something that a lot of people would like, or I think it's a valuable you know, topic, I will definitely do it for you guys. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys or I'll see you guys next week and I hope y'all having a great week and I'll catch you on the flip side.